Sue Pritchard and her son Richard are next to arrive at the barn with an item that's been in the family for four generations. They need music box specialist Steve Kember and woodwork expert Will Kirk to give it some overdue TLC. Hi, yeah. I'm Will. Hi, Will. I'm Sue. Nice to meet I'm Steve. Steve. Hi, Hi. I'm Richard. Sue. Richard. Hi, I'm Will. Hi, Richard. Richard, nice to meet you. So what have we got here? This is my um, grandfather's musical box. It's a very loved um, item in our family. And, OK. Um, it has about 20 of these um, discs yeah. that you um, place inside it. And sadly, um, probably due to wear and tear, maybe yeah. possibly. That was just pointed it look, yeah, wasn't it? yeah. yeah. wear and tear. Yeah. I might be partly um, over responsible. Over the years of grandchildren playing with it, it's not in um, the best state now and it doesn't play properly. So, how long has it been in your family? My grandfather purchased it, I would think, in the early 1900s. Yes. When my grandparents died, it came to my dad. Yeah. I used to spend a lot of time with Richard and my daughter Annika at my mum's house where this used to sit in pride of place in the lounge and my mum used to, she regularly used to dance around to it yeah. and <laughs> make us all very embarrassed but she, she loved they to... They do that mums, don't No, she was wonderful, yeah. she, she loved to dance. <laughs> if we would play this she would start doing her sugar plum fairy dance around the room. Looks quite sad. Yes, it is yeah. a bit. It's very sad. Well, I do feel it is probably all my fault from <laughs> sitting on it, pulling it out at my grandma's house and Putting toys probably not it. treating it with the respect it deserved. I know that when I was little it used to have a... It wasn't an elephant, but it was like a curly motif of motif something of white. Well. Yeah, yeah. Got a nice split there for Will to do that. <laughs> keep oh, him up late tonight. It is very beautiful mm. and even when it plays badly, it's quite a magical sound. Yeah. Oh, it's a polyphon. Yes. Do you want to show us how it...? I can try. You awkwardly have to try and place the disc in, yeah. and then this has to click. Yeah. Bit of a crank. Sometimes... It's always been stop, start, you know, very jittery. It will go off at random times, even if you haven't touched it. For days and days and days. Really? Yeah. In the, in the night. Of the night. <laughs> it's a bit creepy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so you have to make sure the disc is not inside when you leave it because it will just suddenly, suddenly go. Suddenly start playing. When I hear this play, I have memories of all the discs out on the floor and my mum dancing and pointing her toes and <laughs> telling us how she used to do ballet and. And it... Sorry, I'm sorry. It's OK. I really, really would like to be able to play it to my grandchildren and just to talk about Nana Katie because she died in 2013. And, yeah, so I'm hoping you can perhaps make it work... So am I. ..and uh, <laughs> fulfil that dream. That would be wonderful. Well, you've left it in the best hands. We have. Thank you so much. <laughs> and no pressure, dude. Thank you so Thanks much. I'll do Good my luck. best. I believe you will, definitely. Thanks, Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.